Hey and welcome to Northern Chris. Here's the next part of the snowmobile build series. Um, when I cut this, I cut these pretty quick. As you can see here, they're not very straight. So when I go to weld, I need it flush. And I also decided to run it right from this shaft here instead of the jack shaft because there's lots of play in between the two. You can see here, chain's pretty loose. So I'm gonna cut this chain off. A new chain just arrived in the mail. There we go. It's cheaper for me just to buy it on Amazon, believe it or not. It's a number 41 chain. Fits nice and tight. All right, now I gotta just grind some of this down with a flap disc. All right. It's gonna be like that. And like that, see if these will fit. So now we want to see if the chain will fit on that sprocket way down in there. Not the top's no problem, but you can see the bottom chain is hitting right here. Let's cut this corner off. Now I gotta cut this down quite a bit. Go lower. So, see the chain. So you can see there. All right. So that looks pretty good. So the welds might not be the nicest, but it should hold. I'll flip it over, weld the bottom. I'm gonna weld this. It's pretty loose. So here's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of play here, but it's moving everything. All the plate here and all the plate here so it's not the prettiest but it should work doing a bit of a gap here angled in to give it a bit more support instead of being flush with it i did a little bit here i'll give it a couple more tacks should hold it already seems more sturdy all right so the two bottom brackets are welded on. I think I'm gonna add this little bracket here just to give it a bit more support on the top. So there probably will be a lot of torque. I think so. The plate is all welded. Brackets underneath. Chain looks lined up. And I got the chain. It's a mark. 
Freshly painted. Bit of play. 